Hi everyone, it's Orkan. Today we are going to take a look at the two pointers approach and in what kind of scenarios we can use this approach. So let's take a look at the problem. Let's say that we are given a two strings M and N and we need to find that uh, whether or not N is a subsequence of M. So what's that mean? It means that we can remove some characters from M, right? And that M and N will be equal. So for example, in this case, we are removing D, U and W and the M is equals to N. So how we can solve this problem? There are a number of ways how we can solve this problem, but the easiest and the most efficient and optimized way to solve this problem is to using two pointers approach. So what's the, how we are exactly implementing that? So we are, we have two pointers, one pointing to M string and another pointing to N string, right? So, and we are starting from the zero index and we are comparing each character. If the characters are equal, we are moving both pointers. If the characters are not equal, then we are moving pointer only in M string, right? So for example, in this case, A is equals to A, so we are moving both pointers. And now the next one, we are comparing D and E, right? D is not equals to E, so we are moving only pointer in M string. So now we are comparing the next one. Is E equals to E? Yes, it equals. So we are moving pointers. We are moving pointers in both strings. So ne next we are comparing C with U. Is C equals to U? No, it's not. So we are we're moving pointers only in M string, right? So now we are comparing C and C, and the C is equals to C. So at this point, we can say that the N is subsequence of M because we are at the last character, right? So at the last character of N, and the N is, and the N is equals to uh, with at the last character of N, and the, it equals to C. So the last character of N. So at this point, we can say that the it's a subsequence of M. So as you can see, it's very easy to implement. And um, in the, for this kind of problem, for the subsequence problem, for let's say that the, we need to find two numbers that is giving us certain target number and so on, it's very efficient and uh, easy to implement two pointers approach. Okay, uh, that's it for today. Hope you like my content. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you next time, bye.